patients come in several times and they always have questions about when can I deliver? When can I be induced? No one wants to be pregnant longer than they have to, and I, I can't argue with them. If I were pregnant, I'd want to deliver as early as possible. But there are some issues. Every time we intervene, we ask for trouble. The women have been around having babies for millions of years without us there to screw it up. So if patients are able to come in in labor on their own, it always goes so much better. Having said that, when we look at elective inductions, the current guideline is 39 weeks. So basically one week before your due date. The reason that that's so important is because if we push early or patients have an unfavorable cervix, we increase their risk for trouble, not only for them, but for their baby. We dramatically increase the risk for C-section for the mom, but if we deliver the babies too early, then a large number of those babies will end up in a special care nursery or even in a neonatal intensive care unit uh, because of some lung issues as well as other problems that might develop. So in a nutshell, nationally the guideline now sits at 39 weeks without a medical indication for induction. So if patients understand that and they realize that it's being done to help prevent problems for both them and their, their children, then uh, we, can, we can move ahead. Patients that have a favorable cervix, who've had one child or more, uh, they're more likely to qualify for an elective induction at 39 weeks. But again, we kind of individualize it for each patient, but we, we ask that we do it in a safe time frame and get everyone through this safely.